welcome back. I hope you're having a great day. Today, Marty and I are going to be cooking. Yes. We're going to be cooking guacamole. Guacamole is made out of avocados. So these are the avocados that we have here. Let's cut this bad boy open. Hopefully it is not like rotten. It's really soft. So the man at the grocery store helped me pick these out. So hopefully these are ripe and ready. Let's see. Ooh, oh, good. nice. All right, let me grab a spoon. Okay, we're going to scoop out all this. Wow, that looks good. Looks nice and soft. Yeah, that's a lot of meat in there too. Ooh. I think these avocados here have a lot more meat than I'm used to. So I think I'll actually only use one today because that is a lot of avocado. There's a whole bowl of avocado in just one. So yeah, I'm just gonna use one for this recipe. Now these avocados are different than what we have in America, right? Yeah, these are way different than what we use, like that I'm used to using in America. The avocados that we have in America are called Haas avocados. All right, let's mush this all up, get it good. You're also gonna need tomatoes. You don't have to use these tiny tomatoes. You can use like big ones, Roma tomatoes. What else do we need, Marty? We need um, lemons or limes. Limes. Lime, yeah, yep. that would be better. We need lime juice. This, guys, is my special lime juicing technique. <laughs> you've, gotta, you've gotta use the power of your teeth in there. Now we're going to go ahead and put the juice into the avocados. And the secret ingredients. Yes, which is very hard to get here it seems like. Yeah, cilantro. You might also know it as coriander leaves. Yeah. In America we call it cilantro. Go ahead and put the cilantro in there too at the same time. Look at that, that looks beautiful. Yeah, and it is super hard to find here in Jogja. Um, I don't know about other places in Indonesia, but I can usually find it at Giant Express. Other than that, it's really hard to find. Yeah. Sometimes I can find it at Lotte Mart. Um, I think that I've purchased it at R&B Grill, the restaurant. But other than that, like I have a hard time finding it. Yeah, and I've tried to grow it a few times, and it'll grow a little bit, but then it dies, and so it's really hard to grow. It seems like here, down in the city, maybe up in the mountains where it's cooler, it grow, grows better, but here in the city, I can't get it to grow very well at all. Yeah, so, but you do not have to use cilantro to make guacamole, so you can just like skip that ingredient if you can't find it, if yes, you can. <laughs> you don't have to use. You can still make guacamole without cilantro, and it's really good but we like it with cilantro. And we're also gonna use a onion, well half an onion. This knife that I'm using right here, we got on a trip with Mark Collins and Lon Dung and his family to Sulawesi. We bought this at the market there as a reminder of our trip to Sulawesi. I forgot to tell you one very important ingredient is garlic. So we're gonna use garlic cloves and I like a lot of garlic, so actually today we're going to use like five garlic cloves. <laughs> we're going to mince these up. Ooh. We'll add a little bit of salt. Let's give it a final stir. All right, we almost forgot the most important ingredient. Oh no! At least to me. <laughs> and that is the cayenne pepper. Unfortunately, we don't have cayenne pepper in <laughs> Indonesia, but we do have chili powder. Yeah, chili powder will work just good, yeah. So how much do we put in there? So just put like a pinch. A pinch? Yeah, just a pinch. A pinch isn't enough for anything. <laughs> All okay, right, maybe... how about a quarter teaspoon then? A quarter teaspoon. Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay, so now we're gonna put plastic wrap on it and leave it in the refrigerator and then come back in about an hour and try it out. All right guys, so right now we are going to try the guacamole, but first we have to open the chips and look at this. Glorious, glorious corn chips, which are fairly unusual to find here in Georgia, at least like real salty 
regular corn chips. Uh -huh. These are Wanted Tortilla Chips. Wanted Jose Tortilla from, from Denmark. Hmm. Smells like tortilla chips. Yeah. <coughs> this is what the tortilla chips from Denmark look like. All right, so dig in, you guys. This is what it looks like after being refrigerated for an hour. Okay, are you ready? I'm yes. very excited. Okay, go. Mm. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. That's pretty good, Jules. Mm -hmm. Cool. Can mm -hmm. you taste the lime? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, Way strong. The cilantro. Wow, I love this. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Onion. Sarah's going back. No double dipping, Sarah. <laughs> no, you need a new chip. <laughs> new chip, new chip. This is so good. Oh man, that was so good. All right. Mmm, 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 mmm. That is so good. Oh, that is really good. I can just like take a spoon and eat it. Mmm. So you guys, I hope that you give this recipe a try because it really turned out super well. I love the lime flavor in it. If you have cilantro, go ahead and add that to it because that makes it like extra special. But if you can't find cilantro, make it anyways. And I hope you enjoy it. And if you do make it, please put your picture or a video that you make on my Facebook page, Julie Johnson, because that's a lot of fun for me and for everybody else to see your pictures. So thumbs up from the Johnson family, yeah? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. Hope you guys have a great day and keep smiling.